Today is the start of Hispanic Heritage Month, a time to recognize and celebrate the achievements of Hispanic Americans in our communities. Joining me now on our Seven Up Front segment this evening, Raymond Lozano, Executive Director of the Mexican Town Community Development Corporation. Mr. Lozano, thank you for being there. Good evening, Dave, and thank you so much for having me. It's great to have you with us. Let's begin with uh, the celebrations that will take place and events. What can we expect for this year's Hispanic Heritage Month? Well, Dave, the, normally uh, pre-COVID, there would be lots of festivities going on, but um, as has been reported, you know, a lot of audiences are COVID adverse. And so things aren't the way they've been in previous years. But I, I know this evening, tonight, the Mexican consulate is celebrating um, what is called El Grito. Uh, it's where they uh, celebrate that uh, in uh, September 17th, when Mexico decided to celebrate its independence over Spain, um, that's been celebrated for, for centuries. And so um, there are a number of things that are being um, postponed because of COVID. So it's, it's kind of uh, dampened this year's uh, celebrations. And that's unfortunate, but many achievements, of course, within the community here in Southeast Michigan. Uh, if I was to ask you to name a couple that you're most proud of. Sure. Well, you know, if I can, uh, Dave, you know, Hispanic Heritage Month, most folks um, see these celebrations as a time to celebrate and maybe even drink a little too much. But um, I, I like to, you know, reckon back to when 50 years ago, uh, in 1968, uh, President Lyndon Johnson actually created the Hispanic Heritage Week. Um, and it was really because of the support that Latinos were giving uh, him and uh, had previously supported uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, sad to say, it took 20 more years for President Ronald Reagan to expand it in 1988 uh, when it created Hispanic Heritage Month. And at that point, it, it encompassed more than just the celebration of Mexico's independence. It celebrated the uh, independence of uh, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. So there's a lot more uh, uh, to it than just a Mexican celebration. And certainly uh, Southwest Detroit, Mexican town here, very so very important to the vibrancy of our community. Tell me about a new fundraising effort that, uh, that, that you're leading and, and what that will lead to. Yes, no, thank you so much. We, um, uh, although we're a community development organization, you know, our, our focus has been to uh, promote and enrich and preserve Latino culture for the area, for the metro area. Um, we decided a few years ago to create a cultural center. So we have a galleria and cafe that uh, through the generous donation of the Kresge Foundation, um, we've been trying to develop and it, it's taken a while because of uh, suppliers and materials uh, unavailability, but we're hoping that uh, we can get that uh, location as a destination, as, as is our campus. If folks don't know, we have a couple of buildings, the Mexican Town Mercado and the Mexican Town Welcome Center with a plaza in between. And normally we'd be celebrating events and having concerts and uh, even doing the, the Mexican independence celebration. But uh, we're hoping that, Dave, that it'll get to that point again, maybe next year. And uh, you know, we also have the Cinco de Mayo Parade that spans three, three miles through Southwest Detroit. So uh, we're really looking forward to being able to celebrate those kinds of things. Our uh, project though is uh, nearing completion. We're hoping that maybe by November, we can, uh, the, through the Day of the Dead celebrations, uh, maybe have an ofrenda, you know, the altar that we celebrate the, our relatives when they come back to join us uh, and visit. Uh, hopefully the, by the end of the year, by November, we'll have some activities going on. Excellent. Well, it's great to uh, catch up on things that are happening in the community uh, as we celebrate uh, all month long. Mr. Raymond Lozano, we appreciate your time here on 7 Up Front tonight. Thank you, David. I really appreciate it. Thank you.